Brainy Glow presents, How Do You Know That You're In A Toxic Relationship? Let's take an imaginary trip into the lives of a young couple who have chosen to live in the heart of a bustling metropolis. Their names are Jane and John. The city they reside in is a vibrant place, always in motion, with lights that don't dim even when the stars appear in the high heavens. Their apartment is nestled amidst the hustle and the bustle, the never-ending stream of activities, and the constant hum of life. Jane, a city girl through and through, thrives in this environment. She is fascinated by the mix of cultures, the smorgasbord of culinary delights, and the opportunities to meet people from all walks of life. To her, the city a living, breathing entity, pulsating with energy, teeming with possibilities, the city's streets filled with unique sounds are like music to her ears, and she delights in the city's fast pace. John, however, has a different perspective. He grew up in the serene countryside, kissed by the morning dew, bathed in the golden glow of the setting sun. He longs for the idyllic calm and the tranquil aura that is associated with rural life. He misses the sounds of nature, wide open spaces, the simplicity of life that was far removed from the frenzied pace of the city. They seem like any other couple with differing preferences and completely okay, but what happens when this difference becomes a tool for emotional manipulation? What if John starts to undermine Jane's love for the city? What if he gradually starts to make her feel guilty for enjoying the urban lifestyle, making her believe that she's in the wrong? This, my dear listener, is not just a difference in preference anymore. This, dear listener, is a classic sign of a toxic relationship. A toxic relationship isn't just about physical abuse. It's about control, manipulation, and belittlement. It's also about one person systematically undermining the other, making them feel small, insignificant, and incorrect. A toxic relationship is a complex labyrinth of harmful behaviors all aimed at destabilizing the other person's sense of self. But how do you know if you're caught in such a toxic relationship cycle? Here are a few significant signs to keep an eye out for. Firstly, you're continuously walking on eggshells. In a healthy relationship, you must feel comfortable expressing your thoughts, feelings, and perceptions. However, if you find yourself perpetually worried about how your partner will react to any slight disagreement or contrary opinion, that's a considerable red flag. This constant anxiety and fear of confrontation indicate an unhealthy power dynamic at play. Secondly, you feel emotionally and mentally drained. Relationships should ideally be a source of happiness, support, and joy, not a factory for stress and anxiety. If you find perpetually feeling exhausted, emotionally drained, and mentally fatigued, it's time to take a step back and evaluate why you're feeling this way. A relationship shouldn't bleed you dry, it should invigorate you. Thirdly, your self-esteem is suffering a significant blow. If your partner is continually criticizing you, mocking you, or making derogatory comments, it can severely impact your self-esteem. You might start believing in their harsh words and criticisms, leading to feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. This is a clear sign of emotional abuse. Next, your friends and family are voicing their concerns. Sometimes when you're deeply entangled in a relationship, it's hard to see the reality for what it is. If your loved ones are expressing concern about your well-being and the nature of your relationship, it might be worth listening to them. Their external perspective could provide valuable insights. Lastly, your partner is overly controlling. Whether it's about who you hang out with, what you wear, how you spend your time, or even your career choices, controlling behavior is a significant red flag. No one should have the right to control your life or dictate your choices. Remember, these signs aren't definitive proof that you're in a toxic relationship. However, they can serve as vital starting points for reflecting on your relationship and taking the necessary steps towards healthier interactions. Now let's return our focus to Jane and John's story, which has been unfolding throughout this narration. Jane is starting to perceive disturbing patterns in John's behavior. She has begun to understand that his actions, which she initially mistook for expressions of love, are rather manipulative, a sign of control. This disturbing realization leaves her unsettled, prompting her to decide to confront him about it. After all, clear, open, and honest communication is the primary pillar in any healthy, thriving relationship. Jane prepares herself for a difficult conversation, a dialogue that may potentially change the course of their relationship. She the risks but believes that voicing her concerns is imperative. 
However, if John chooses to dismiss her concerns, ignoring the troubling issues she raises or worse, belittles her further, Jane will be forced to reconsider the and viability of this relationship. This will not be an easy choice. Evaluating a relationship's worth is never simple, but it's crucial to remember that a relationship should be a source of support, respect, and mutual growth, not a constant source of distress. A, a toxic relationship, as we're defining here, is characterized by manipulation, control, and undermining. It can lead to sustained period of emotional upheaval, leaving you feeling drained, worthless, and constantly on edge. Recognizing these signs is the first step towards acknowledging the problem and change. This is a vital step in reclaiming your emotional well-being and pursuing healthier interpersonal dynamics. It is important to remember that each one of us deserves respect and love in our relationships. We shouldn't settle for anything less.